Hi everyone, and welcome to setting up Global Protect. Um, <clears throat> this is my first time doing it, so we're gonna kind of uh, just kind of get through it and see how it goes. Um, so let's go ahead and just jump into it. So for those of you who want to kind of follow a step-by-step -step instruction, um, you can go here to hd.losrios.edu, right? It stands for Help Desk. So you can go here, you can go to this URL, go grab Google Protect and follow along. This is basically what I'll be using. Um, so a couple things, obviously we'll need semantic running. Most of this should already be being taken care of if this is a district issued um, computer. <clears throat> So really our first steps here, kind of once you read through, making sure that everything's up to date and patched is going to the gp.losrios.edu. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that now. Login, SSO. Okay, so part part of this, this first setup is going to be doing the um, uh, setting up the, the two-step authentication. So um, we'll go ahead and hit start setup. And I'll choose, um, that's cool that we can add UB keys. Um, so you, you could go purchase one of the security uh, USB keys online and use that instead of your phone, but I like to use my phone. Enter phone number, and there you say go get the app. Okay, so we'll go get the app from the App Store. Duo Mobile. We'll launch it. Yeah, I'm going to allow the push notifications. I think it makes it easier. Um, and we'll say I have Duo Mobile. Add the account and it snags it pretty quick. Pretty quick and easy. Continue, say okay. Yeah, I like the push notification. Um, because that way um, it'll just pop up on the screen. Say send push, there it is. We tap on it and say, yep, approve. Looks good. And now we're in it. So obviously, um, so in those first steps, right, you'll need to make sure if you're running on Windows, you need to pick 32-bit or 64. Again, those are described um, in, in this first section up here. Um, so if you need to go figure it out, um, go snag the right one. Most of the time it'll be 64-bit and then the Mac one, obviously, if you're on a Mac. Uh, I have a 64-bit machine, so we'll start there. So we'll just launch the installer. Sure, default. I just hit next on all of these. Okay, so Global Protect's running. Let's go back to um, our instructions. Do, do, do. We added Duo, got the push notification, everybody's happy. We ran the installation. So here's our address, gp.losrios.edu. Should be prompted for our WID, here it is. <clears throat> Standard SSO. Send that push notification. Boom, there it is. Ah, that's awesome. I like how easy that is. Okay, I think that's it. I think we're connected. Um, <clears throat> let's test this. Um, 10 .80. Actually, 
actually the easier way to do this is I'm gonna go grab my Fulsum RTP, the remote desktop, and um, yeah, we'll do the, my workstation. And here it is, it loaded. Cool, Will Protect is up and running. I'm now connected into my remote machine. It's sitting on campus. I can log in and I have access to um, all my most recent, you know, the resources that I would if I was sitting at that console. Um, um, so something else is Global Protect. Um, close this window. It's still running down here in the task tray. So if you're not sure if you're connected or when you log in um, on, you know, when you start your morning, you want to come in um, and, you know, go ahead and, and click on this icon in the bottom running in the task tray and go ahead and hit connect. Um, and it should connect out. And if there's errors, obviously you need to contact your IT department. Um, probably got to, you know, just make sure everything's updated on your computer. That semantic is running. Um, but I believe that's all we need to do. So here it's still, still running down there. Trying to connect. Oh, connection set up. Um, so yeah, so now you can see, oh, hey, look, I know I'm connected down there. Um, and everything should be good to go. Thanks for watching.